chocolatey. What's up guys, Bearded here, and welcome to another episode of Sunday Scratch. Um, I'm going to take these off for a second because I don't like how they reflect what I'm looking at on the screen. This is actually the second time I am recording this because there is something wrong with the freaking... I guess my mic. It keeps going down to 72% every time I start my computer. And... I've done, I've looked at everything, like, I checked Skype, I turned off the auto-adjust settings, uh, I've set the settings in Skype to 100%, uh, I checked OBS, I, I checked the settings in the, the recording settings on the computer itself, and I can't find any other solutions online, and I don't know what else to do, but I realized it seems to only reset itself on startup. So maybe I gotta try and find it in the startup settings or something, but right now, the only solution I'm seeing is to just not turn off my computer. <laughs> and that sounds ridiculous to me, but cause step, I, I, I shut it down at least, I'd say three times a week, mainly when I go to bed or something, but like if I'm just say, I don't know, going to work or, uh, I don't know, going to work or going to school, going to some appointment. I usually put it on sleep mode and I wake it up when I come home uh, when I go to use it. But yeah, I'm probably gonna have to look in the startup settings. And also, I will discuss with my dad because he used to be a sound guy for most bands and he might know um, what the problem may be. But that is not the point of this Sunday scratch. I mainly wanted to discuss, no, no, yeah, I guess discuss, um, my new webcam. I ordered the Logitech C920, and I really like it, uh, mainly because of the huge difference from my old one, but I mean, there is a major auto, auto adjust on it, like, look how, how detailed that is, but, um, somebody said... I've read somewhere that I might need to change the like brightness and contrast. And all. I don't know if I can like that. So yeah, I um, kind of have to screw around with the settings, I think, because I mean it does look a little bit grainy still, but the quality, um, like the sharpness of the image, I guess it looks a little better. It's just the graininess still. There's two other things I want to mention. First one is uh, I went for my MRI today, and the MRI went all right. It was, it was interesting because everybody says, oh, it's if you're claustrophobic, you're not gonna like it, and it's very noisy. But when I went for it here, they give you earbuds with playing the radio to try and muffle the sound. It does muffle the noises, but it. I kind of found the radio was too quiet because I could still hear the noises around me. I figured I'd, I'd hear it a little bit, but I was hearing them quite a bit. And um, also, you can't move at all. And towards the end, the guy comes on in the, the earbuds and he says, uh, "He says it's going to be another five minutes because there was a slight movement." I said, oh, okay, because I was trying my hardest not to move, and, uh, but when he said it, he scared me, because his, I told him about it afterwards, but when he spoke, it was so loud compared to everything else, and it made me jump, and it's like right in your ear, too, and I told him this afterwards, he says, oh yeah, a few people have told me that, and, uh, I don't really know how to change that, but I'll look into it, and I said, oh, okay, but anyways, um, and the thing is, too, like, if you're claustrophobic and you have to go for an MRI, I can understand that you wouldn't feel very comfortable in that or you'd start freaking out or something. But I was thinking about it. I had my eyes open looking at the, the top of this thing and I was kind of distracted by like the, the Winnie the Pooh stickers they had on the freaking thing. They weren't even in the center too, they were like off to the side over here. I'm just like, why? But, um... 
when I was looking at the top of this thing, it it almost look it almost looked flat, and because when you look at it from the outside, it looks like a tube, really. But when you're looking at it, it almost looks like a wall. Like it's it almost looks flat, like a wall. So I was thinking, if you were claustrophobic, all the guy has to say to them is, pretend you're looking at a wall. Like yes, you are lying down, but pretend there's nothing behind you. There's nothing else around you. You're just where you're like this close to a wall, and you're just looking at it for 20 minutes, and then whenever the thing slides out, it's over. And that's that's how I feel about it. Cause I'm not claustrophobic myself, but I was just thinking like that would be a good uh, a good thing to think about. I guess I don't know. Uh, that just popped in my head for the 20 minutes that I was sitting there. But anyways, um, the other thing I wanted to mention was that it is a for sure thing that I am going to be moving in with my dad within two weeks' time, uh, basically mid-May, because there it'd be easier on money, and two, there are a lot more job opportunities over there. Uh, there's two people I've already been talking with, and one of them said... Uh, they like my resume and they'll keep me in mind. And then the other guy said, uh, we didn't put up an ad, why, why did you apply? And I said, well, it was on such and such a site, and it said you're looking for someone, so I applied. And he said, oh yeah, that happens every year. I said, what do you mean? He says, well, the government gives us funding to hire a student for the summer. And I said, okay. And he continued on, he said, they only, gave, they only give us half the funding at the start, and without telling us, they put up the ad. And we don't know where or when, but they just put it up, and then we start getting responses. And I said, that's odd. And he said, yeah, but eventually they give them the, re the other half of the funding, and then they're able to hire someone. And he said, because I am the first one to apply, and uh, they're going to be hiring someone towards mid-May, uh, I'm probably going to be the first one to contact, so that was a good thing. But, uh, let, let me just, I am going to be so mad if I check my microphone settings and it went down again. Nope, it's at 100. Because I like it around between 90 and 100, and right now I'm just, just because uh, it keeps readjusting itself, I'm setting it to 100. But when I restart my computer, it goes down to 72, and there's no program that I find that opens up on, on, on startup or anything that is set to 72%. I just, I don't get it. it it's, it's really frustrating, and I hope I can fix it before I get really serious into streaming and stuff for the summer. And also, university's completely done. I finished my exams, I finished all the projects, I'm now just waiting for my final mark of the entire thing <laughs> and uh, see if I, I I hope I pass but see if I get my uh, I guess diploma I guess it's a diploma so that is it for this episode of Sunday Scratch thank you guys for watching feel free to like comment and or subscribe uh, I hope the sound was better this time it might be loud now because I'm a little closer but I was like back here talking and it was it seemed good but anyways um, yeah <laughs> uh, I already did my outro and it's gotten awkward so I guess I'm just gonna say bye for now how my finger that actually hurt let me out the f out of you. Thank you.